Hi there, everybody. It's Mark Lawrence from here from Sydney Astrology School. And thank you for joining me as we look at episode number two in the Neptune Through the House series. And we're going to be looking at Neptune in the second house in this clip. Now, this is a really interesting one, isn't it? Because we've got the most nebulous of all the planets in the most tangible and earthy house. Now, I want to say before we even start that a lot of people seem to think that the earth plane is a very, very human terrain. Um, and our spiritual life is out there, you know, it's out there in the ether. And what we're doing here, you know, is very, very uh, uh, disconnected from that. Now we're having to work in a very uh, concrete and very mundane area here on the earth plane. Um, and they often read the second house that way. Now, I'm going to say that the second house does include a lot of that, but I also want to go down the road of saying that we are souls, we are spirits here having an earthy experience rather than vice versa. And so I want to actually uh, bring the fact that the earth plane is just as spiritual and just as sacred and just as holy as any other place in the universe. And having Neptune in the second house, I truly believe, believe really, really uh, paints that picture big time. Because when we're looking at the second house, we have to understand that we are here. We are here on the earth plane. We're in bodies and we have to uh, make a living. The second house is a house of what we have. It's what we own. It's what we're resourced with. It's what we're equipped with. And so it deals a lot with the uh, with the tangible but material world. It deals a lot with making money and putting a roof over our heads and being able to feed ourselves. But it also deals a lot with what's going on inside of us as well. This is what we are valuable for because our value system is all very much part of the second house. So what makes us valuable, what makes us worthwhile, uh, what is important about us, our gifts and our talents and our abilities are all in the second house as well because we own these. These are part of who we are. We're resourced with them and we need to use them in some kind of way. So when we have Neptune in the second house, I want to say Neptune now becomes what we're resourced with. We're resourced with a Neptunian gift or a Neptunian talent in some kind of way. Now, a lot of people would say, it's kind of hard to pin down, isn't it, when you're talking about a Neptunian talent? Um, and I know a lot of people with Neptune in the second house that would agree with that. But Neptune in the second house, if you have Neptune in the second house, I want to say what you have and what you're valuable for is, a, I want to say, a sense of inspiration, a sense of insight, a sense of compassion. I know a lot of people with Neptune in the second house are incredibly artistic and very creative. A lot of them are a lot more creative and artistic than they've given themselves credit for. Neptune in the second house can also be people who have some kind of psychic ability or intuitive ability as well. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that these people have to go into those uh, areas, those work areas. Uh, I just mean that they're they're kind of in tune with that inner voice or that inner guidance that's helping them through life in a very, very earthy way and be able to be guided into areas that are going to be able to keep them safe and secure as well. And so to really tap into your intuition is going to be a really, really good thing uh, for people with Neptune in the second house as well. As I said before about the creative side of things, um, I feel that many Neptune in the second house people um, have uh, talents to do with the arts, uh, on stage, uh, filmmaking, uh, the fantasy side of life, um, water and anything to do with the water. Um, I had a client with uh, who had Neptune in the second house that would say that when he was a child, he used to dream about becoming rich. <laughs> uh, and I would say that people who do that, and I did say it to this client, is go back to that little 
little boy or little girl and um, and find out what that, that, that child loved. Find out what that, where that child's heart wanted to go because I honestly believe that that's where money is for that person. Now, when I say where money is, money isn't a bad thing. It's not a good thing either. Money is just energy and we need to be able to make money to be able to survive on the earth plane. And so making money is a big, big part of the second house, but it's how you make it and why you make it, okay? And then, of course, what you do with your money, and that's going to become really, really important with Neptune in the second house because sometimes I feel people with Neptune in the second house will go out into the world, into the material world, the world of the possessions and the world of money, and they're going to think their nirvana is there, you know. And so to accumulate money and to live that kind of lifestyle and everything, they're going to feel that that's where their happiness is. But even the people that do make it in those kind of areas uh, tend to always feel empty, tend to always feel that something is missing. Now, this is kind of universal anyway, but if you've got Neptune in the second house, you're really, really going to be feeling because the emptiness is coming from a place that's actually saying it's not about money. It's about you and it's about how you got there. And so you always have to be very, very conscious of how you're making your money and why you're making your money. And then, of course, what you're going to be doing with it that is in tune uh, with some kind of what I would call spiritual alignment of sorts. And spiritual alignment doesn't necessarily mean you have to become, you know, a classically spiritual person. I mean, that's always handy, of course. But it just means that you do, you do, you do things in your life or you follow your, your inner guidance. You follow your heart. You follow what you love, basically. And that's going to take you to where you're going to feel safe and secure materially at the same time as well. I find a lot of people with Neptune in the second house have to be very, very careful of overgiving. Uh, Neptune has that boundaryless energy in the second house. So a lot of people will give their money away. Now, nothing wrong with giving, giving money away, but you always have to be very careful with who you're giving it to and why you're giving it as well. So I find a lot of people with Neptune in the second house will overgive in that area. Um, and uh, the opposite can happen as well. Um, people who overget, you know, people who feel that everybody owes them something, you know, everybody owes them money in some kind of way. That's another Neptune in the second house trap that a lot of Neptune in the second house people will have to be uh, aware of. Now, self-worth and self-esteem is a big part of Neptune in the second house. Uh, second house governs that kind of area as well. So again, a lot of people are going to find it probably uh, challenging in some areas to feel confident. Uh, but I always want to say that Neptune in the second house, as I said, is talking to you, is guiding you from the inside out. So there's something about that inbuilt faith that Neptune has. It's a very, very different faith to Jupiter. You know, Jupiter is that confidence level in us, you know, that go for it, you can do it, you can do it, that's Jupiter. Neptune has got more of a calm down, relax, go with the flow kind of energy, let go, allow yourself to be guided. And I always think that if you come in tune with the comfort and the security and the safety of knowing that, you know, the deepest, deepest part of that feeling, uh, you will be safe, you will be guided, you will be guided beautifully to all the things, not only that are going to bring money into your life, but all the things that are actually going to make you feel really, really good uh, about who you are, uh, your self-worth and your self-value will rise as well. I, I can't help but think that, that, that for you, uh, your survival, your basic survival, is going to rely um, on your spiritual attunement or spiritual alignment. And I want to say that that every day has to be in your own way, being just concentrating, just being very aware, just being, uh, 
I want to say just being very conscious of what you're doing in life in your everyday material earthy possibly work kind of way and how much do you feel is in alignment with what you have come onto the planet to do and if you feel that what you're doing and how you're making your money that way and what you really feel that you've come onto the planet to do are poles apart then I want to say that Neptune in the second house is trying to bring them together. It's really, really trying to bring these two worlds together for you. It's trying to actually to, to get you to live a very, uh, what I would say, a very uh, comfortable and healthy uh, and concrete life uh, in a way that makes your heart sing, you know, that makes your your spirit uh, come alive, you know, that kind of feeling. They have to work hand in hand with Neptune in the second house. It becomes so important. So when you're looking at Neptune in the second house, I always feel that the people who might feel in a way a little tiny bit, ooh, I don't know what it is, I want to say, I want to say go Go with your dreams, especially go back, go back to your childhood, as I said earlier on. Uh, Neptune works through signs, works through dreams, uh, works intuitively, of course, works through meditation, works through our long walks in nature, work, walk, works when we're, we're sitting on the, at the bench down by the waterfront. It talks to us that way. It's our connection with the with the universe. It's our connection with our own, uh, with our true selves. It's our home, and so it is always it is always giving us signs. It is always giving us feelings around the stuff that's that's going to make us happy. That's going to bring joy into our lives in some kind of way. And if you've got the second house, that's aligned with what you have intrinsically, what you own intrinsically, your talents and your abilities are in there as well, and how you can live on the earth plane in a way where you can not only make money, but you can really, really, really feel good about yourself in the earthy environment and be able to feel comfortable and safe here as a human on the earth plane.